Nathan Jenkins is here calling himself a professional mulch maker, but I think it's quite a bit more. I'm a professional, traditional, non-hyperallergenic mulch maker. Okay. Now, if you believe that, I have some motion for property <laughs> in Arizona, I can tell you. And what do you like to make most, Nathan? Truthfully, I like to make mulch. <laughs> Actually, I love... It's not what I make. It's just I love taking blocks of wood that nobody can, has any use for. Everything here is wood that's reclaimed. So I like taking wood and just making stuff out of it. It doesn't really matter what it is. I love to challenge myself and just get, a, just make stuff. In fact, this is my way of actually enjoying the event. I couldn't have bought a ticket and just come here, just sat back and chilled and enjoyed the music. I'd, I'd be doing something like this. How'd you get started? Well, when I was two years old, my dad put a knife in my hand. And he said, here, son, entertain yourself. <laughs> and that was my introduction into woodworking. And we traveled, my family makes white oak baskets. I got some baskets are hanging around here. My family taught me to make those when I was young. And we traveled. I picked this up in DC of all places, in Washington, DC, can you believe that? In the middle of the city. Who would have thought? There's a place here called the Claude Moore Colonial Farm. It's right outside of McLean. And when I was 12 years old, they decided, well, I was dumb enough to ask about it, and they decided to put me on this. And the guy just said, here you go, here's tools, here's the wood, here's what I want you to make, and he just walks off. Leaves me in front of crowds, about 100 people that day. And I learned one thing, well, I learned many things. I learned how to, I learned how to really be, well, I learned just how hard work this was. It really kicked my butt. And I learned how to be a good politician. I learned how to explain away what I was doing when I had no idea what I was doing. And that was my introduction into this trade. And after having my butt kicked so terribly that first day, I didn't like it. I had to go back, I had to learn it, and I had to figure it out. So 20 years later now, here I am. Who would have thought? Most people would have thought, I'm going to get an electric lathe, but not me. I've never had an electric lathe. I've always turned on one of these. Thanks for sharing your experiences with us. Oh, that's only the tip of the iceberg with the experiences. <laughs>